Friends, many, many years ago, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how many years, I uh, had the pleasure of making an appearance in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, I'll give you a little clue about how long ago it was. They had a new band on the station by the name of Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. And back in the corner of the uh, studio was a young fellow that introduced himself. Uh, he was just out of grade school or something. He told me his name was Carl Smith. But a fellow had, that I went over there to see had been there longer than uh, the station had or the city or the state or the country <coughs> is the fellow we're gonna bring out now. Here he is, Archie Camel. <laughs> You make me sound so old, I'm just so glad I could walk it out here. I'll put your wheelchair right over here. <laughs> we got people here from all over the country tonight, and we want to be sure and recognize everybody. We got people here from Canada. Where are you folks? Where are you sitting? From Canada! And we got some folks from England over here. Let's have a yell in English. Thank you, Lord Hume and Christine. <laughs> and we don't want to forget our photographer over here, this little guy taking the pictures. Would you mind standing up and taking a little bow? <laughs> this is Terry Tomlin. <laughs> hey, you me. You're from where? Well, I recognize your face, but your breath is familiar. <laughs> He's from Mississippi. You from Mississippi? I saw an old boy out there a while ago. I, he had a great big, huh? He didn't say anything. You can go home now. They got your cage cleaned out. <laughs> old boy had a big hat on there, out there a while ago, and I asked him, I said, uh, what's your name? He said, my name's Tex. I said, are you from Texas? He said, no, I'm from Louisiana, but I just hate to be called Louise. <laughs> Terry Tomlin over here, our photographer, I was trying to introduce him. I see you're still using that greasy kid stuff, Terry. <laughs> Brought my wife with me tonight, Johnny. Oh, you did? Good, yeah. good for you, that's nice of you. You know how it is when you take a trip, you always pack something you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> but the women here, you know, she's trying to make herself beautiful anymore. She's trying all these different treatments. Is that right? Yeah, she tried that mud pack the other night. Oh, the mud pack. I'm yeah, she looked, she looked a lot better with it on. <laughs> <laughs> and she's on a diet, now she's trying to reduce. She's okay. on a diet of bananas and coconuts. Bananas and coconuts, Yeah. Huh? Mm, she lost any weight? No, but you ought to see her climb trees. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a high five phonographic figure. A five five what? <laughs> <laughs> A high-five phonographic figure. I don't believe I ever heard of one of them, Arch. 45, 78, 33 and a third. <laughs> and she's got a long play tongue, too. <laughs> she decided the other night that she wanted to take a milk bath, so she told me, she said, get me some milk, I'm gonna take a milk bath, that'll make me look better. So I had to go out and talk to the milkman. I told him, I said, I want 32 quarts of milk. He said, what on earth do you want with 32 quarts of milk? I said, well, my wife's gonna take a bath in it. And he said, oh, I see, pasteurized. I said, no, just up to her knees. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny, that's all I have to offer. Well, wait a minute, Arch, you done real fine there. Uh, you done real fine. The folks all laughed in uh, the right places and all that, but uh, you've got another I gotta job. go, and I got a little problem. I got to go see a psychiatrist. Yeah. yeah, I hate to have to tell you this, but I gotta go. I've been, lately I've had a little problem. I, I think I'm a dog. You think you're a dog? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, how long you been thinking that? Ever since I was a pup. Get it. 